In our previous demonstration, we identified business services in jeopardy due to being supported by applications hosted on servers scheduled to be unsupported or removed, decommissioned. In this demonstration, we identify business processes that are affected by changes to business applications. We will also take a high-level view of our architecture and examine the connections and dependencies between physical servers, applications, services, and business processes. Identifying the pieces involved in supporting a business process or service aids you in preventing service disruptions, streamlining processes and workflows, and consolidating applications and data to eliminate waste, increase efficiency, and save money. Let's start with the application landscape diagram, U.S. Ops. This diagram shows us the applications used by the United States portion of this organization. These applications are organized by service components and component category. In part two of this demonstration, an analytic was run on this diagram to discover which applications are in jeopardy because they're running on servers due to be decommissioned very soon. The bid server and Poseidon applications were identified as at risk. Let's have a look at the business processes that depend on the bid server application. The References pane gives us a list of what is connected to the bid server application, including a host of business process diagrams. All of these business processes are in jeopardy of failing or encountering serious problems as they are connected to the at-risk application bid server. Let's take a look at what enterprise entities are tied to these business processes. They are also in jeopardy. We'll use the Verified Bidder Credentials process for this example. Another references dialog opens, telling you everywhere the verified bidder credentials business process is used and everything that is associated with it. Let's discover exactly what is connected to verified bidder credentials and therefore at risk in the bid for item process. Here we see our at risk business process is part of a sequence with an entire group of business processes called bid evaluation, which must now be considered at risk as well. Verify Bidder Credentials also receives a bid message from the place bid process. Both message and process are also at risk. So far we have examined our application landscape and services landscape and discovered using analytics that we have a server due to be decommissioned that puts the applications running on it at risk as well as the services those applications provide. Now let's take a wider look at the situation using cause and effect analysis. We will use a special system architect diagram called an explorer diagram. The explorer diagram allows you to explore the content of your encyclopedia. The diagram displays all diagrams, definitions, symbols, and the relationships between them. We give our new diagram a name that represents its function, cause-effect of the superior server being decommissioned. To reveal cause and effect relationships, we will put our problem server superior onto the diagram along with business applications, services, and processes. Then we will run reports that will show us the interdependencies between all of these entities. First, we drag the server definition named superior onto the diagram. We do not drag the server symbol onto the diagram. On an explorer diagram, dragging a definition like this onto the diagram actually runs a report. In this case, that report is filtering out only servers named superior. The output of the report is presented visually as a symbol on the diagram, enclosed within an Explorer collection symbol entitled Server. Now we move our applications into the Explorer diagram. Dragging in the application definition,
brings in all of our defined applications. Now let's run an Explorer relationship report to see all immediate uses of the superior server. This will show us all the objects on the diagram that have a uses relationship. This Explorer relationship report relates all definitions represented on an Explorer diagram with other definitions related to them via a system architect uses relationship. For example, if a definition has a list of other definitions, those definitions are related via a uses relationship. Lines are drawn on the diagram to show what applications are associated with the server. This is a visual rendering of the report just run. We'll examine how this type of report is built later. Now we hold down the control key and select all the applications that do not have a line drawn to them and delete them from the diagram as the two applications connected to this server, Superior, are what we want to focus on. Now let's drag our services onto the diagram to examine their relationship with our physical server and applications. Now let's examine the relationships between our services and applications we're looking at now. We do this by running the Explorer Relationship Report Services Provided by Applications onto the diagram. Now we can clearly see which services are provided by which applications. Let's take a look at the code contained by the report to see how the report works. You can see that this report is looking for model definitions of the service type, representing our defined business services, that are provided by other definitions of the type application, representing our defined business applications. The identity of all service type definitions is set to DDIDS. This value is a list of the identities of the objects currently represented on the diagram. With this attribute set, if the report is dropped on an individual diagram object, the report will run on only that object. But if the report is dropped on a white space in the diagram, then the report will run against all of the objects in the diagram. Let's now take a look at the business processes implemented by the two applications we are currently looking at. Now let's run the Explorer Relationship Report, All Immediate Uses Relationships, again to discover which model objects use each other. Now you can see which business processes are connected to which applications. Interestingly, we see all of our business processes are related only to the top application in the diagram, BidServer. The second application, Poseidon, does not have any BPMN processes related to it. A possible explanation for this discrepancy could be that our enterprise architecture itself is missing information. Otherwise, it means that very many business processes are completely dependent on one business application, BidServer. That structure renders the bid server application an incredibly critical application that must be monitored for possible causes of failure. It would be good risk management to ensure the bid server application was housed on multiple physical servers that were routinely backed up in multiple locations for disaster recovery purposes. Congratulations. You have completed the Introduction to Rational System Architect with SOA video series. For additional information about Rational System Architect and Enterprise Architecture, please see the following links.